First, we've unleashed an economic potential of our people and our partnership, and partnership that generates more than $2.5 billion in trade every single day. Secondly, we're transforming our hemisphere into clean energy powerhouse, including extending the Inflation Reduction Act tax credits to electric vehicles assembled in Canada. And as we discussed over the last two days, we're also strengthening our supply chains for critical min minerals and semiconductors that power our everyday lives. And today, we're making a $50 million available through the Defense Production Act to incentivize more U.S. and Canadian companies to invest in packaging of these semiconductors and printed circuit boards. I also want to emphasize what I said earlier in Parliament, that Canada and the United States always will have each other's backs. We share three oceans and the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are a source of drinking water for 40 million people, and this shared resource needs to be protected. This is why Canada will make a major new investment of $420 million to continue safeguarding the Great Lakes for generations to come.